Greetings, this is Edward Jumbo. In this tutorial, a desktop application will be created using HTML5 on the Tori framework. This is brought to you from the Ojumbo.com and OjumboShop.com learning Python course and learning PHP courses. Tori is a toolkit that helps developers make cross-platform applications. Rust is used with Node.js to create an application. JavaScript can be used to interact with Rust for the GUI. Tori can be compiled from source at GitHub. Tori can be installed from downloaded binaries. I installed version 1.6.0 via NPN. Let's get started. So in the console, terminal, shell, first we install the latest version of Tori. So for the name here, I'll just I'll leave the default project name Toria. So by it wants to use uh, JavaScript, you can use Rust or Net. Instead, I'll use the JavaScript, and I'll use npm. I want to use for the UI. I'm going to use the vanilla JavaScript. Okay, so that's done. So we'll cd into our app. Then we we'll install all the dependencies. Okay, then we what we can do now is we can run the app, but uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up NetBeans and we'll make some modification for our app. So the, what we have here is the main.rs of the Rust file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some modifications. I'm going to uh, change this from greet to an image. So I'm going to pass in another variable which will be the age and that will be an integer 32 bit integer, integer. Then uh, what I want here is the first variable which will be the name I see that you are in the second variable. I will have a Rust a tutorial and course uh, in the coming weeks. And everything else stays the same here. So I just need to save this. I can also zoom in here so you can see what I just did. Next is I'm going to come up with, I'm going to modify the in the source folder I'm going to modify the index all as well. So some of these things are not needed. I could put the JavaScript here, but I'll keep it separate. So some of these things are not needed. Uh, I'm not doing any clicking stuff, so that can be... Oh, this is not needed. Again, so you can see what I'm doing. So this is a form.
I'll make this the type view text and I'll make this required. You can change this to whatever you want. Or I'll just type please enter enter your name. Duplicate this and this will be the age and the type will be a number. I want it to be an integer, your age, and I make it required. Change this, and then change this to output. Okay, the next file that we're going to uh, modify, this should really be caps. The next one we're going to modify is going to be the JavaScript. here because this will, this will go now grab the rust and then change this to name another one for the age and this is for the output So the name is fine, but we also need to have another variable which is the age. Now because <coughs> I pass, I need to pass it in as a number, so I'll convert it into a number. By default, all uh, form input is a text. Okay, then here we go. Uh, this uses the ID, so if we go back here, we can change this to a class. I'll leave this as an ID. Make sure you save, save this. Um, so then this could be age. As for the class, and this will be age oops made a mistake there uh, this should be name need to duplicate this for the age and this is the output of it this as an ID I believe yeah the ID is output there and output and then the form if we go back to our form here I'll leave it as an ID as well so when we go here form when somebody hits the submit button it will prevent the default behavior then it will run this function so I'll rename this function in age go back to our Rust here, make sure we have it right, function name age, so it's the same, it's the same thing. Okay, now lastly, we just need to do some styling. There's some things we don't need. There's no logo, so we don't need this stuff here. There are no hyperlinks, so we don't need this. 
I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, and that's fine. About an outline line, it's fine. I'm going to add a I'm going to add a because there are multiple inputs. So all my inputs will have a margin to the right. This is not needed because they don't have any hyperlinks. And that's it. Well, it looks like there's something else I'm not needed here. Uh, you can remove this one for the text align. That's not really needed, but I think that's... Oh, yeah, the logo. We don't have a logo, so I can remove that. Back to the end, I have... Yeah, that's right. Save this. And the good thing about NetBeans is I can divide this into four quadrants. So you can see the main here, the CSS, and put this one, see. Yeah, so you see, this is the rust up here. It doesn't have a syntax highlighting. And this is the index, this is the mean, and this is the style. Now we're going to compile this on the command line. I could do it through NetBeans, I'll do it on the command line, it's just easier. So back to our command line where the app is, just type npm run Tori and depth. So because I'm on Linux, it's going to use uh, WebKit uh, GTK. So it's compiling this. Oh, it failed. I don't know why that failed. So let me see if we can fix that. Trying again. I didn't change anything at all. Hopefully it works. As I was saying before, it uses GTK. Make sure you have that uh, WebKit GTK if you're on Linux. Oh, looks like it worked this time. I literally didn't change anything at all. And of course, you need to have Rust installed. Okay, here's GTK. I think that was just a glitch from before. Okay, while we're waiting here, I think we can go and talk a little bit more about okay, Web GT, WebKit 2 GTK. Uh, was compiled properly, it's still building. This is similar to. And what's the problem here? See, my macros, CDM, greet. Okay, so that's my fault. <coughs> Online. So it says on line 12, greet. Let's see here. Line 12, greet. So this is my mistake. I should not have this because I renamed the function. So this should be name age. Okay, this is saved. Let's go back to command line and it should work this time. It's a good thing it remembers where it left off, so it's just doing the last part. There we go. Here's our app, and you see this is a GTK, a GTK app on my Linux system. 
So if I enter my name here, and if I check, because this is a required field, we have number there, has to be numeric. Okay, so something went wrong here. Let's debug. I didn't change anything again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and run it again. The output should be uh, here, so probably something really simple. Let's see if I can diagnose this quickly. So it's output MSG, output MSG here, output MSG, output MSG now. Ah, <coughs> this one. It's my fault. This should be output. That was my fault there. So we save this. See, by default, it will rebuild it and the app should start. So if I say 23, go here, here. Oh, no, again. Well, wow. okay, so. No. Okay, give me a little time to figure. Okay, so here's the problem. This should be name. Save this. Is this still running? No. Okay, so we can run it again. Now it should work. Sorry about that. There we go. And because this is an HTML5 app, if you right click, you can inspect and you can go to the console, you see there's no errors. So you can get Tori at tori.app. Uh, if you want the article, it's at tojumbo.com slash cross hyphen platform hyphen HTML5 hyphen desktop hyphen GUI hyphen using hyphen Tori. And uh, all everything here, the code snippets, for example, if you want the Node.js, you just expand, you can just copy this. If you're on the HTML, the JavaScript, the Rust code, it's all in here. Just expand any of these. You can see the JavaScript, the HTML, and the Rust. And I'm using NetBeans here. You can use any editor you want or IDE. And of course, uh, this is what it looks like. Screenshots for you. And this is the video you're watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, so all the information is here, all the links are down here. Uh, Tori and the courses, the learning Python course, learning PHP. You can use Python or PHP as your application, and you can use this Tori for the GUI, uh, you know, for pages or anything like that as well. It's 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 much more optim optimized than say uh, uh, the Electron apps, and of course, if you want to learn Python, uh, the Learning Python course, you can use the twenty percent off until the end of twenty twenty four by using the promo code School. Python is really popular for uh, creating your own desktop applications as well. Uh, the Python take editor might not be as pretty or as, as it doesn't fit in as well with, for example, Linux or Windows or Mac. So using something like uh, a Tori as a, as a replacement for the GUI part, the Windows, is uh, an option for you. You can also use PHP. PHP can be used uh, just for the back end or for logic and then you can compile it uh, with Rust uh, to make similar to Python as well and then of course you can use the GUI as the uh, Tori, Tori to create the GUI uh, because it's just a uh, web kit at, at the end 
and of course again you can use the same promo code school S C H O O L until the end of 2024 now if you want something extra if you want one-on-one -on -one, uh, software tutorials programming different languages I said Rust is coming up soon there will be JavaScript as well HTML5 courses and books as well so you can contact ojumboservices.com you can use this phone number which is for North America it's toll free or you can do a direct dial and if you want uh, if you don't if you want somebody to create applications for you again you can use ojumboservices.com for it's all cross-platform Linux Android Windows Apple Mac or the iOS uh, devices and if you just want a website uh, maybe you want web design logos or maybe your site's been hacked and you want somebody to recover the database or file remove the hack malicious files PCI compliance you want e-commerce yeah contact or general services form you can simply go to the contact page here fill in your information with your budget timeline and somebody will get back to you within 24 hours it's most likely less if you less than that if you do it during the day eastern time so that's it Thank you.